ladies and gentlemen, we got to talk. I, I can't let this go by anymore. They're talking about Mr. Bankman Free. Okay? This right here. They, they're talking about the collapse of FTX. Now, this was. Hold on. Hold on. We're going to get to this in a second because I need y'all to hear something. They're going to talk about what he is accused of stealing. Let, let's, let's play it, if you don't mind. He has become, become a celebrity. There is no there question. Is no question. One, of one of the richest people on the planet, and certainly one of the youngest rich people on the planet. He's on the cover of Fortune this year, compared to Warren Buffett. 30-year-old billionaire, Sam Bankman-Fried, better known as SBF, saw a meteoric rise in crypto's golden boy. The more time I spent with Sam, the smarter our shelters were. My goal is to be able to do it with everything that I think about. That I make. That I make. A seemingly altruistic billionaire looking to have a big impact. I'm 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 like, like, I, I, I care about the I care impact that I have. That I have. Struck me struck as somebody that was really trying to do trying something, something transformative. transformative. Which is why, Which is why the crypto, crypto scandal, scandal that engulfed him shocked, shocked the world. He was overnight, he was overnight and Bankman 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 is now in custody in the Bahamas. His $32 billion cryptocurrency exchange, FTX, goes bankrupt in a matter of days. 8.9 billion dollars in customer funds. Okay. Pay attention. 8.9 billion in customer funds are missing. Okay. This is MSNBC. Uh, CNBC. But same thing. CNBC, MSNBC, same junk. Want y'all to pay attention. FTX. F U N D S F O U N D. I just put FTX funds found. That's all I put in here. Pay attention, five billion. FTX officials overseeing the bankruptcy have recovered more than five billion in cash and other liquid assets that may be used to help repay creditors. Now, I've already shown you that they, they didn't just uncover, they said more than five billion. Ladies and gentlemen, they Pay, they found more than nine billion. So how is he accused of taking billions of dollars? They've already found it. Okay, some three point one billion is owned by the company of top fifty creditors. Eight billion or more missing. I've already done the video showing you guys how they found $5 billion at one point, another $3 billion, another point, another $2 billion, another point. Okay? The defunct cryptocurrency FTX has recovered $7.3 billion. That was April in customer funds and could be restarted as a going concern as soon as next year. Excuse me. 7.3 billion. So how come they're reporting two days ago that it's still missing 8.9 billion dollars? Because he doesn't have the right attorneys, ladies and gentlemen. He's a billionaire, but he's hiring these attorneys, and these attorneys work for the system, and these attorneys are going to get him put in jail because he's a poster boy. They can't give him the company back. FTX is going to file for bankruptcy so that they can get protection from creditors so they can keep most of that money. Because the government has received it. It's in receivership. Ladies and gentlemen, this was a heist. This was a government heist. That's not misinformation. I've already done a video showing you where they've recovered. $7.3 billion plus another, pay attention, plus another $3 billion. Now, this was April of this year. If they found $7.3 billion in April of this year, how come they didn't reduce the charges? Okay? Look, now it says $1 billion has vanished, at least. How come they just guessed them a maiden? Okay? Then it says they recovered. Now, this is January. In January, they recovered $5 billion. So what's going on, people? Who's lying? Who is lying? Who wants to be king? Somebody lied. Okay, somebody, Akuna Makata, uh, somebody lying, y'all. But they're saying, and his attorneys are not going to bring this up. 
his attorneys are not going to bring this up. Remember, they're filing bankruptcy, but they found over $9 billion. Watch this. We're, we're going to do it this way. This is the easiest way for you guys to understand what's going on here. It says, despite the substantial collection of assets lawyers have identified, FTX said that in a statement accompanying the filing that they found fewer digital assets than they had hoped to find. That's a lie. That's a lie. Now, this is January 2017. Here's April. They found $7 billion. Watch this. I'm going to do this right here. Copy. And we're going to do this together because somebody lying, y'all. I told y'all somebody want to be king. I'm going to put a dollar sign. Now, this one says they found $5 billion, and they want to tell you it was $132 billion. They want to make people's heartstrings $7.3 billion. Okay? And it says the crypto assets an increase of more than $800 million since January. Now, that's $800 million since January? Look at that. Originally seven billion I mean five billion something, now another eight hundred million. Okay? Just so y'all get it. Why FTX plans to refund ninety percent of recovered assets. That was a day ago. But they are accusing him they've recovered seven billion dollars as of April. It's more than that as of now because they are uh let's do this. I'm looking for the June these are all early. There are some that they recovered in June. And this ain't talking about what they've recovered in June. We have January and April. I'm looking for the June one. Let's go here. I don't want that. I'm looking for what they recovered around June. We know that they had seven. Okay, bankrupt FTX has recovered... 10.9 billion in assets. This is April. Now, how? Wait, how could they recover? And this is the next day. This is April 12th. This is. And who is this? AFR.com, Companies Financial Bankruptcy, blah, blah, blah. We're going to go here. $10 billion. So, why is he on trail for embezzling when they found the money? See, the bankrupt crypto exchange has recovered. 7.3 billion, 10.9 billion in cash and liquid crypto assets, an increase of more than 800 million since January, the company attorney said on Wednesday at U.S. bankruptcy court hearing in Delaware. But they are accusing him of stealing, pay attention, 8.9 billion. Well, no, what happens is it was. It was. It had more than eight point. No, it didn't. It was worth thirty-two billion. Okay, FTX benefits from the recent rise in crypto prices. Mister Dedrich, whatever his name is, said its total recovery would be valued at six point two billion based on crypto prices in November, when it filed for bankruptcy. After traders pulled six billion from the platform. In three days, and rival exchange Binance abandoned the rescue deal. Ladies and gentlemen, rival exchange Binance didn't want the United States to have control over it, and they were putting too many restrictions on Binance. And I don't like Binance. Binance is a piece of, I mean, uh, stuff. But let me tell you something. This article right here, let's see what day are you. This is April. This is April. Now, pay attention. I want you all to understand. Their recovery is not because, pay attention, their recovery is not because of crypto prices. See, this one is saying recovered. The other one says found. Let me, let me take you back to the articles, okay? More than $5 billion in liquid assets. The other one said cash. Y'all hear me? So if they found it in cash, then where's the embezzlement? Where's the embezzlement? We just read the one about cash, both in cash and crypto assets, $7.3 billion. 
So how could they find it in cash? Oh, if you guys knew how to do math and how corporations do math, you would know that they're lying here. They're trying to say that the recovery is because of the crypto, the currency prices going up. That's a lie. And we know it, you know it, and I know it. Okay? But then they say, pay attention, that he embezzled these funds. That's not a scam, ladies and gentlemen, if they have the money. Let me tell you what Sam, Sam, Sam yo, let me tell you what Sam did. Sam took the monies and he used the monies to invest in other ventures. It's 100% legal to do that What company funds because he was the CEO. He had the right to do that. He did not have a board to go to. He didn't have to go to the board. What he failed to do was to document what he was doing. However, there was no crime with that. That is not a crime. And could he use the investor's money? Of course he could. It's an unregulated industry. See, this is the stuff his attorneys are supposed to be bringing up, but they haven't done so. Okay? They haven't done so. The attorneys are not going to bring it up because why? The attorneys want to make it look like they're big and powerful, but they're not. The attorneys want to make it look like they got money, but they are not. Just really that simple. And the fact that they're filing Chapter 11, well, they filed Chapter 11 bankruptcy a moment ago. Okay, that was when they had to declare bankruptcy because there was a run on the exchange. And here's the thing. The reason why he couldn't pay everybody back at one time, because the funds were tied up. The reason why they could recover those funds is because they had to undo those deals that he was making. It was nothing wrong with the deals that he was making, but because the banks refused to give him a loan, which he was depending on and didn't give him the loan, that means he could not handle an onslaught. And so they allowed the banks news to come out about him because why? The United States needs an exchange in which to trade crypto. They can't start their own exchange, so they need an exchange where people are already registered on a stupid exchange. And why not, at the time, the largest exchange out there? They're just going to change the name and keep all of the prior customers, give them a discount, ta-da. You talk about corporate espionage and a corporate takeover, a hostile takeover. So here it is four days ago, FTX customers on edge as a $9 billion payout plan awaits approval. They get the take and keep 10%. FTX gets to keep 10%, which is what they need, because you better believe the executives are going to get paid, and then they're going to roll out a whole new platform, and the bankruptcy court's going to approve this, and the bankruptcy court going to approve that. Just needed to show that to you guys to let you know that, yeah, that was a hostile takeover, and there's nothing he can do about it because he's being railroaded. I, I don't know the man. Never even heard of him before all of this happened. Could care less about him. I, he's not the type of person who I would be friends with. Just that simple. I don't know the character. But what I can tell you is I can see a railroad job when I see a railroad job, that they are railroading him. And they claim that he is smart, but he doesn't know law. So he's not smart enough to see what they're doing to him with the system. But it's obvious to me, more than anything, that's why I went to see if they recovered any money. I didn't see nobody else going and see if they recovered any monies, but sure enough, they've recovered more than enough. They said $8.9 billion is what they said. Okay, and that's a guesstimate, people. That's not an actual figure. That's no accounting. Here it is more than a year later, and they still have not done the accounting. Why is that? Why is that? And his lawyers are not going to bring it up because they're like Mike Tyson. Remember those lawyers Mike Tyson hired? <laughs> that was a tax attorney. Yeah. What are these? 
Gotta go.